My people, zodiac signs are something I know very little about, but today I am going in depth on the Stardew Valley characters and what zodiac signs they are. Now, because I don't really know anything about this, I am joined by Rain Queen. I'm joined by Ring Queen, and she's going to help me through this. I know more than you. <sighs> Dude, okay. So we took all of the real life days and we converted them to like the Stardew calendar, right? So like what is, you know, Aries is like January 1st to February 2nd or whatever. Like we made that winter, like 10 to winter 19. Does that make sense? So like anyone who had birthdays within that range is an Aries. We're also just going to Google what each of these things are and like read a little, little blurb about them. And we'll see. Do we want to find out who's in the sign as we read the description? Or do we want to read the description and then reveal? What if we do description okay. and then guess who we think would be in it and then see if we're right? I like that. I like that. All right, I've got a little website pulled up. I don't think I need a description, but... Do you I'll want to describe anyway. Aries? <laughs> since, you, fire. since you know all... Fire. Just fire. Just <laughs> fire. Aries. Our, our first Emperor, one is... But not uh, a bad way. Yeah, our first one is Aries. So this is normally in real life, March 21st to April 19th, but that is converted to spring 1st through the 9th. And so the description on this website, this reputable allure.com slash story slash zodiac sign personality traits dates reads as follows. The first sign of the zodiac. Weird that they start on March 21st, but whatever. Aries loves to be number one. Naturally, this dynamic fire sign is no stranger to competition. Bold and ambitious, Aries dives headfirst into even the most challenging situations, and they'll make sure they always come out on top. Rin, who does that sound like to you? I mean, a lot of people. It's like, I don't know, like with the starter, it's kind of like hard. I feel like there's some that I feel like I'm really strongly about, but others I don't really know. I feel like Aries would be Kent, maybe. Okay. I, I don't know, I, I have like, I only know one Aries in my life. <laughs> <laughs> bold and ambitious. I don't know. Kent is the only one coming to mind. Kent, so bold, so ambitious. Um, I think Abigail. I, I hear Abigail in that. I could see Abigail. I could see her. I feel like I get more Scorpio from her, but, you know. You're not speaking my language. Let's find out who Ares is. Okay. Dude. Yeah. What? See, okay. <laughs> Louis... I guess, like, this is the thing with Zodiac. It's like, sometimes it's like really spot on and sometimes the person is more of a different side of the Zodiac. Like, I'm I'm, just, like Dude, I'm, hold on. I'm, I'm tripping that there's 40 characters in Stardew and you just said, I get Ares vibes from Kent. Because he's- he's, he's on here. He's both, why is there sheep too? That's the <laughs> like Zodiac sign represented by a oh, Stardew thing. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, yeah, what is it? What is the actual thing? Ram, Ram. The Ram or Ram, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, so fine. You got lucky with okay. Kent. Do you, think, do you think Mayor Lewis is luck. bold and ambitious? I Listen, I don't like this slander on Zodiac and I think you need to be careful because Zodiac mm. fans are valid. I think that Mayor but, Lewis is bold and ambitious when he visits I think I don't know. Mario. I don't think Mayor Lewis fits in that as much. But again, there's different sides of Aries. Some Aries are not really like the typical. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Let's move on. Next up is Taurus. Would you like to read the description? Oh, yeah, sure. This description is kind of weird. What sign is more likely to take a six hour bath followed by a luxurious Swedish massage and decadent dessert spread? Why Taurus, of course. Taurus is an earth sign represented by the bull. Like their celestial spirit animal, Taurians <laughs> enjoy Taurians. relaxing in serene bucolic environments surrounded by soft sounds, soothing aromas, and succulent flavors. That is so random of a description. Yours was I way don't... harder to read than mine too. I had like- Yeah, there were so I, many I, I was words. at like a third like, grade what? level. What the heck? They were like, you have no. a decad decadent bu bucolic <laughs> like, environment with a dessert? celestial terrain surrounded by understand. soothing aromas. I see um, Taurus is more like, well, it's the bull. I see it more like stubborn, but like grounded, practical. Um, it's it's really weird that they refer to them as Taurians. Is that a normal thing? Yeah, no. Taurians. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, I, I see so. Linus falling into this. A relaxing guy, you know, soft sound. Emily, Emily and Linus. That's who I see. I could see that. Um, maybe Demetrius, but I think that he's more like I could see him being an Aquarius actually. I don't know. I don't know Taurus that well, so I'm not sure. Or no, Caroline. No, she's airheaded. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> just show. I want to know. All right, let's see. I want to see. Hmm. 
Okay. I just don't know Taurus that well. So allow me to read. I guess Pam makes sense, like bull, like what? bullheaded, kind of like very stubborn. Standing can I around can I reread a sentence? Months. What sign is more likely to take a six-hour bath followed by a luxurious Swedish massage? God, that sounds like Pam hey, if I've ever heard. It. Honestly, no, it actually kind of does. Like, what does she do all day? She drinks and then she just sits there. So like, that's kind of her. I could see Haley as Taurus also because she's like got the stubbornness. Haley, I agree with. But Vincent, I have trouble judging Vincent. He just doesn't on have any enough front. of a. He's just a kid. Yeah, like he's, he's a garbage really... kid too. So it's hard yeah. to hard to tell. Okay. Okay. Probably not as like head on, you know, as as the first one. Probably not quite yeah. as accurate, but I just you know, still don't know it as well. How do you feel about Gemini? Well, I am one, so. <laughs> All right. I hope that I Let's like find it. out the person that Rin is. Have you ever been so busy that you wished you could clone yourself just to get everything done? That's the Gemini experience in a nutshell. Spontaneous, playful, and adorably erratic. Gemini is driven by its insatiable curiosity, appropriately symbolized by the celestial twins. This air sign was interested in so many pursuits that it had to double itself. That's it. Wait, hold on. First of all, that describes you 100%. Yeah, you exactly. You are literally, you're too busy to do anything with me for a month in a row. And then yeah, uh, also, so what's, there was another one that was a fire sign and this one's an air sign. So this is an are air sign. Are they all sign. benders? Uh, well, yeah, I think that like water, earth, air, fire, like it's just kind of a overarching thing that other things grab from. I don't mm. know how, like what I'm saying, but yeah, like an air sign is kind of more like go with the flow, kind of trying to do a bunch of different things at once, like creativity. All right, let's, who do, who do we think about this here? Gemini, Gemini, Spontaneous, Gemini. playful. See that I would say Vincent, but yeah, but he's, he's a kid, so he really like. He hasn't mm. grown into his sign yet. I don't know. That's kind of hard too. I don't know if I get Gemini energy from anyone. Spontaneous and playful. Clint. <laughs> Clint is not on the chart. Clint doesn't deserve to be. He doesn't have a son? Let's find out who it is and then let's see em if it's a right. Emily kind of Emily okay. kind of gives me like the playful vibe, but maybe Leo. Uh, dude, Morris know. is not on this list because he doesn't have a birthday, but God, this just screams Morris. All Honestly, right. no, Gemini's get a bad rep. Like the two faced thing can is twisted a lot. Boom. Okay, so it's Emily and then the other version of Morris, I see. Shane. Okay. Okay, okay, Emily, yes. First of all, and Shane, this is, what? <laughs> this, <laughs> this is why Gemini gets such slander because there's some people who are like on one side of the <laughs> of the thing where they're really, you know, fun and like, yay. And then there's people like Pierre. <laughs> You're like, ew, <laughs> I hate Gemini. This is why Gemini's get so much hate because Pierre, <laughs> he's not a Gemini, he's not. Pierre is a Taurus or like, I mean, that's nothing against Taurus, but like, he does not give me Gemini energy at all. How, how does it feel sharing a sign? With, I already with share Pierre. the Gemini sign with so many people who are terrible, so I'm used to it. I, I'm honestly used to it. I'm sure other Geminis too. We just we just know we get a bad rep. Yeah. It's just how it is. You gotta live with it. All right, read our next sign. This is July 21st. Oh, very, or, very, sorry, very. June 21st to July 22nd. Okay, this is Cancer. <gasps> Represented, Represented by the carb. I'm sorry. The crab. Okay. Cancer seamlessly weaves between the sea and shore, representing Cancer's ability to exist in both emotional and material realms. Cancers are highly intuitive and their psychic abilities manifest in tangible places. But just like the hard shell crustaceans, this water sign is willing to do whatever it takes to protect itself emotionally. In order to get to know the sign, you're going to need to establish trust. Interesting. This feels like... Demetrius to me for some reason. Really? Oh, I the feel, trust thing. I feel like he's yeah. Uh, oh, well, to me, Cancer always gives me very emotional, uh, like very much in their feelings, overthinking kind of, which is relatable. Marty, that... Clint, Clint for sure, right? Clint, that yeah, Clint. Clint. Uh, but also, I see Clint as a Pisces, and I know that doesn't mean anything to you. I now, know. But at, until we get to that point, that means nothing to me. But at some point, yeah, that's it'll like be a, another emotional sign. I don't know, Cancer. Again, I don't really know much about Cancer, but I think Clint, and that's the only one I can see now at this point. I don't. Oh, I don't. Or Crobus. I don't know. I don't know Cancer that well. Okay, let's reveal. Bada bing, bada. It's gonna be the most random characters. <laughs> yeah, like what? Oh, well, that makes sense. Jazz makes sense because she like cries sometimes, right? Oh, and Gus, <laughs> I mean, so emotionally kid, so. vulnerable. He kind of is, like about his food. He's highly intuitive. I wonder if Conservative actually did think about like Zodiac. Yeah, 
I don't know. I mean, like, when you're just picking people's birthdays, you really could just match up the archetypes. Yeah. But, all right, so oh. Gus and Jazz are both waterbenders, it looks like, which is kind of cool. I could see that. I could see that. He's like the bar, so he, like, bends the water into cups. Mm, excellent. Okay, let's move on. As much as I'm enjoying Leo. the deep dive, we're kind of behind. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, you like Leo, I assume? This is the lion Leo people, is isn't like, it? Leo is my moon sign. I know that doesn't mean anything to you, but... <laughs> For the people out there, Leo. Hold on, name. you have to explain that to me. So I understand zodiac is like based on when you're born. What it's is like the when moon you're born, sign? when you're born, and where you're born. So like the time and the placement where you are changes like certain parts of your sign. Like the sign everyone says is your sun sign. It's like your main over encompassing sign, and then your moon sign is like based on emotions. And then your rising sign is like who you are to other people. So it's like there are different like layers to it. Like it's I'm very confusing. I'm keeping track but... of the sun one or whatever. Like the main... the, yeah. Roll out the red carpet because Leo has arrived. Passionate, loyal, and infamously dramatic. Leo is represented by the lion. And these spirited firebenders are the kings and queens of the celestial jungle. They're delighted to embrace their royal status. Vivacious, theatrical, and fiery, Leo's love to bask in the spotlight and celebrate, well, themselves. Oh, yeah. See, like, Leo reminds me of, like, walking on a red carpet or something. Like, that's Leo. Okay. I feel Elliot. like Haley gives me Leo vibes. Elliot? No, because he's not. No, <gasps> because <laughs> Elliot is, like, he's more, like, shy. Like, he's not, like, he doesn't want to go out on the town. He Elliot, just kind of like lingers. I think the first thing Elliot ever said to me was like, get out of my way, I'm too beautiful for you or something like that. Like, I don't think dude, that's what? true. It's true. But like, don't I think it it's more of a vanity thing. And I think Leos are more like, they just are cool and they don't need to say that they're cool. You know what I mean? It's a Who different vibe. Who is that then? S I, Sebastian I honestly, and Sam. Seba okay, I don't agree, but yeah, Sam, I think Sam, I think Sam, Sebastian is more of a Scorpio to me. I could see Alex maybe being a Leo. Leo. Okay. He's like the cool guy. Like he, the Leo was like the popular kid in school. All right, let's see it. Boom. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Alex I could and see. Sam. Yeah. So both two for two. And then for Maru, I, I could see that too. She is kind of like killing it. Like daughter, like father. Yeah. See, uh, Demetrius I still, like, get Aquarius from Demetrius. I don't get Leo, but... Well, I guess I could see it. Dude, see, the problem is I've talked to Maru, I think, a grand total of six times since I started playing Stardew. And Stardio. that is a problem. No, it isn't. <laughs> that is something you really need isn't. to fix. Maru's great. She's great. You don't have to know everyone in town. Especially if you're playing multiplayer. You just make M get all the friendship hearts for perfection. Okay, I, somewhat, somewhat accurate. Good. Okay, now Virgo. Virgo next. Take okay. us away. You know the expression, if you want something done, give it to a busy person? I've never heard that expression before no, in my life. No, I was with him. <laughs> I thought it was going to say, if you want something done, yeah. do it yourself, because that gives me Virgo. Well, anyway, that's definitely a Virgo anthem. It's not. Virgos are logical, practical, and systematic in their approach to life. Virgo is an earth sign historically represented by the goddess of wheat and agriculture, an association that speaks to Virgo's deep-rooted presence in the material world. This earth sign is a perfectionist at heart and isn't afraid to improve skills through diligent and consistent practice. So Virgos are the people that like bread? No. I, they're, the, Virgos are kind of like, they, the, the stereotype of them is they're very organized. But okay. like, I think it's just that they, they're kind of like practical, but that doesn't mean that they're always like on point, if that makes sense. Robin. Robin, I could see Robin. I feel like uh, Virgo. A lot of people say Penny in the know. chat also. Penny, yeah, I could see Penny. I feel like Penny also gives me Scorpio vibes for some reason. I don't know. Virgo's kind of hard. Let's I would have said maybe even Demetrius would be Virgo, he's not. All right, Virgo, bop. <laughs> What an eclectic group of people. Oh. I didn't oh. even know the dwarf had a birthday. Um, okay. Oh my god, how could you? I mean, the dwarf doesn't really, like, he just kind of, like, talks about, like, his shop and stuff, right? Like, I feel like he doesn't really... Leo a Virgo? This feels like... <laughs> the. This feels, like, entirely wrong. This one just feels... I think it's just, like, you know, okay. Like, it's just, like, I guess. This just feels I, entirely I don't really... wrong to me. I don't think a yeah, single person said any of these people. I'm not connected to this one. I feel like Willie is like not a Virgo. Bunch but he of could be. Weak people. Know. Okay. We got Libra next. Balance, harmony, and justice define Libra energy. As a cardinal airbender, Libra is represented by the scales. Interestingly, 
the only inanimate object of the Zodiac. An association that reflects Libra's fixation on establishing equilibrium. Libra is obsessed with symmetry and strives to create equilibrium in all areas of life, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Hmm. I don't really feel like that description is good, okay. but I also do don't think? think I know much about Libra. I think that's why. Penny Caroline is a, a lot I in the like chat. Penny, I was going to say Penny for sure could be that. Based on this description though, I feel like Elliot maybe, but like I also could see him as a Scorpio. I would say Penny maybe. <laughs> Let's find out. Penny feels right. Penny does feel right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of weird, man. It's kind of weird. Dude. It's just like, it's just like puzzle pieces now. Like it's all coming together. I just still don't like Virgo, but I, I definitely could see. Yeah, he is a Libra. Super I'm muted cool. right now. Rin can't hear me, guys. I'm a little terrified. All right, let's uh, let's do our next, next one. Sign. Scorpio. Okay, this one's great. <laughs> Elusive, mysterious. Scorpio is one of the most misunderstood signs of the zodiac. Scorpio is a water sign that uses emotional energy as fuel, cultivating powerful wisdom through both the physical and unseen realms. In fact, Scorpio derives ex its extraordinary courage from its psychic abilities, which is what makes this sign one of the most complicated dynamic signs of the zodiac. Very complex, Whoa. very... They just slipped in at this the end and this person can read minds? Well, not, you know, like... Hold on, dude, what? No, the other one was like, these people like wheat, and this one's like, yeah, they they derive their well, powers from psychic because, abilities from the high gods. Because, like, they're, it's like they're in touch with emotions, and they can read other people's emotions well, like, reading the room, I guess. But also, I feel like Scorpio's, like it says, elusive, like, they're very quiet and, like, mysterious, where you don't necessarily know what they're thinking all the time. And I think Abigail... Is a Scorpio. Abigail. I think her I dad, the Abigail wizard, being... also. I could see the wizard being a Scorpio. I feel like, um, Marnie. Marnie. Could, I feel think? like I could see her being a Scorpio, but yeah, right. I think I don't Abigail. know if Marnie has mind control, her... but let's see. Sure, Abigail. Okay. Yeah! Oh, Sandy! Yes! Sandy oh, yes, makes so Sandy. much sense. Uh, Jody, I guess, sure. Wait, did I say Marnie? <laughs> I said Marnie, didn't I? Wait, the Scorpio sign is the scorpion carp. Azar did such a good job yeah. with these little symbols. Yeah, these are great. This is a great, like, setup. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Oh my god, Abigail. Great, Scorpios. Woo, Scorpio, Interesting. yay. Interesting. All right, okay. next up great. is Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I was about to say, wait, isn't that the name of a star? And then I realized I think they're all stars. Uh, yep, yep, yeah. they're all stars. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, what, which one are we on now? We're on our ninth one. Glad that I'm finally catching up with the program. Oh, the places Sagittarius goes. But actually, this firebender knows no bounds. Represented by the archer, Sagittarians are always on a quest for knowledge. The last fire sign of the Zodiac. Sagittarius launches its many pursuits like blazing arrows, chasing after geographical, intellectual, and spiritual adventures. Yeah. I'm a Sagittarius rising, so... Again, that's one of your, like, six signs? Yeah, that's one of them. That's I don't think Marlin has a birthday, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, Linus? Man. Linus always Marlin chasing adventures? Marlin would be a Scorpio. Linus? If Leapalot's theories are correct, and Linus is more than he seems, then I agree I with Linus. Like, I think Linus could be a Sagittarius. Chasing after Geographic... Yeah, like, in yeah, I could see he's... Yeah, let... Yeah. Also, Robin, maybe. Ah, she doesn't seem like a chase the adventure type. I guess to that's me. true. Intellectual, though. Intellectual, Gosh. yes. All right, Sagittarius. Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I told you. Don't make me. George. I'm sorry, hey, I saw he George did, though. Person. George did, though. I mean, he's old, so, like, it's different now, but I don't know. I think, yeah, he watches a lot of TV. That's a quest for knowledge. <laughs> I, I that is such know. a nice I, I, way I, to put that. Dude, I'm sorry, but the sentence. Sagittarius launches its many pursuits like blazing arrows does not remind me of George. Well, he does have like a whole uh, scene where he talks past. about the war and stuff. Yeah, so I don't know. We don't hmm. know what he was like then. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Next up we have Capricorn. Capricorn, I don't know much about at all. Okay, but I'll read it. What is the most valuable resource? For Capricorn, the answer is clear. Time. Capricorn is climbing the mountain straight to the top and knows that patience, perseverance, and dedication is the only way to scale. The last earth sign of the zodiac, Capricorn, is represented by the sea goat, a mythological creature with the body of a goat and the tail of a fish. Accordingly, Capricorns are skilled at navigating both the material and emotional realms. Okay. So another one like that. I think Krobus. Yeah. Yeah. Krobus. Krobus. Linus. 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 
Perseverance, they, Probus and Linus patience. just remind me of each other, so... I bet they knew each other in a Because he's on the mountain climbing the mountain, if you take it literally. But wow. he's persever he perseveres. <laughs> I think, yeah. Corvus and Linus. Capricorn? Oh, yeah. And Caroline, okay. Caroline's boring. She doesn't climb any mountains. Caroline, I don't really know her. <laughs> Corvus has seen better days. Yeah, where is he? <laughs> He's just on a Krobus, dark background. Come back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Krobus. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, hey, that, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. We got two yeah. left. Yeah. We yeah. have oh, yeah. finally my son. Aquarius. I Aquarius. knew you were an Aquarius. No, you didn't. I knew. No, I, I, if you would have asked me, I would have said Aquarius or Virgo. I'm not kidding. I would have said Aquarius or Virgo. Despite the aqua in its name. Aquarius is actually the last air sign. I'm the last airbender. How about that? Innovative, progressive, and shamelessly revolutionary. Aquarius is represented by the water bearer, the mystical hearer who bestows water or life upon the land. Accordingly, Aquarius is the most humanitarian ast astrological sign. At the end of the day, Aquarius is dedicated to making the world a better place. That couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah, maybe I want to watch everything. Maybe burn. Zodiac is fake. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not real. You hear that, Rin? You hear that? I'm dedicated to making the world a better place, and I'm I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Harvey. Harvey. <sighs> Harvey. Yeah. Evelyn. Okay. I could Evelyn. I could see Evelyn for sure, but I don't know if she actually. I could also see her as a Pisces, so I don't know. But There's I think she could definitely left. be on the cusp. Okay, let's see an Aquarius. Yeah, Harvey. Oh, All right. okay. That makes sense. The wizard makes sense. I forgot about him. I've got some like cool uh, sign buddies. That's what they're called, right? Sure. Whatever you want. <laughs> My oh, Aquarius oh. brethren. Just want to make the world a better place. Wow. Mm, I don't know if Sebastian mm. really yeah, thinks I about mean, many he, other people. I mean, but... he's coding for other people. So. Okay. All right, our final ones. Pisces. If you looked up the word psychic in the dictionary, there would definitely be a picture of Pisces next to it. I don't know if that's true. What? But there was already Pisces? psychic was used to describe- I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't- that- that's what I'm telling you, this website. It's not necessarily Zodiac, it's this website. Pisces is the most intuitive, sensitive, and empathetic sign of the entire Zodiac, and that's because it's the last of the last. As the final sign, Pisces has absorbed every lesson, the joys and the pain, the hopes and the fears, learned by all of the other signs. It's symbolized by two fish swimming in opposite directions, representing the constant division of Pisces' attention between fantasy and reality. Pisces is really emotional. <laughs> and that's Clint. It's that I'm, is Clint. I'm not an emotional person at all, but apparently if I was born 11 days later, then I would be? I is that guess, how that works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We Let got people do what they Clint, want. Clint's definitely in here. Boom. Clint's... Yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn. yeah, Pisces, she's for sure. And Leah. I feel like yeah, Clint was yeah. better described by some other ones, but... I think he could definitely be Cancer or Pisces. Clint doesn't seem like the total sure. culmination of all human knowledge. Well, it's not quite that. I think it's more of like having all of this stuff in your mind and it's just a lot of sensitive... Like you're sensitive because you know, like you're just, you feel a lot. And that makes sense for an artist, for Leah the artist too. So then Rin, let me ask, as I shrink the chart down so we can see the whole thing. How good of a job do you think this chart does at uh, at describing everyone in Stardew Valley? I think it does a really good job. Do you think? I do. I think, like, there's some that are kind of trippy, but it's also because we were just looking at one website. Okay. But, like, I, I mean, for the most part, they're all, like, pretty on point. I mean, we guessed so many of them, like... Well, to be fair, we were kind of, like, down to, like, three people at the end, so... It was getting uh, yeah, easier. Yeah, but I said, but I said at like one of the first few, I guessed who were gonna be at the end. I said Clint would be a Pisces. Like you can't, you can't All cut right. the gold. That's enough the for the video. Back. That's Roll that's the enough. Back. There's no tape. That's enough for this video. You can't hide from the truth, <laughs> see. You cannot hide from the truth.